Hey everyone, Denise here from So Limitless and in today's video I'm going to talk about cargo pants and I'll tell you why in a minute so let's get started. So first of all let me welcome you back to the channel if you are returning. If you're new here then hi my name is Denise and I like I said I wanted to talk about cargo pants because something that I've noticed recently they are everywhere and I mean I love cargo pants honestly uh, whether they are in or not I really I don't know why I just I do love cargo pants and I enjoy making them so that's what I wanted to uh, show you today now I was at Target recently this is how all of this started I was at Target recently and I don't do a lot of shopping as far as clothes is concerned but the display when I first walked in kind of caught my eye so I walk over to it and it is a pair of like faux leather. I really like the color of the of the pants, but they're a faux leather texture and it's cargo pants. So I go to where they supposedly have these things and that particular one was sold out, but they have a cream color. Then I saw some other cargo pants they have, which is like a shiny silver and they've got all kinds. And it's basically um, what they've done is elevated the cargo pant to party wear, so to speak, uh, for evening wear. Uh, if you were going to a New Year's Eve type of party, maybe for the younger crowd, but maybe not. I mean, I would wear them because I like to be comfortable and cargo pants are comfortable. but that's what they had and I thought that's interesting because I've noticed there are a lot of patterns for cargo pants that are coming out so that is what I'm going to show you today I did take some pictures and I did notice that one of the features that they have because when it's someplace like Target and they're mass produced you're not going to get necessarily the best fit so in order to fit I noticed they all have elastic in that back waistband so um, these patterns though are different they they don't have some of them don't have elastic one of the most recent ones that i've purchased is the love notions largo cargo and i'll put up separate pictures so that you can see these a little closer but this one has a lot of different pockets and different details on it i've not made this one yet i did recently purchase that pattern but I've seen it made up and they're really, really cute. So that is an option. This is for woven fabric there. I believe all of these that I'm going to show you actually are for woven fabrics. One of my favorites that I've made probably three or four times is this one. It's the Style Arc Carry Cargo Pant. And this is a favorite of mine. It is easy to put together. I don't do the tabs on the side here to make so you could roll up the pants. I don't do that. So that's an optional thing. But I really like these pants. They are very comfortable. And the thing that I've liked about the Style Arc pants is that I didn't have to do a lot of work to get a decent fit. So I always appreciate that. When, when that happens, it's always a good thing. Uh, so that is a favorite pattern of mine and in fact I may make some more of those because I've got a Minerva project coming up I have to wait for that fabric but I also have uh, two more pieces of that corduroy that I purchased from Melanated Fabrics so one of those pieces might end up <laughs> becoming cargo pants so we'll see Another one that I've made before, and this one was actually a Minerva project, is New Look 6055. That's this one here. This is another one that's easy. Now, you notice that this one and the other have drawstring at the, at the waist. I don't do the drawstring, actually. I just put in elastic around the waist. There is a new style arc pa pattern, the name of which escapes me right now but it is also a cargo pant. That one has a mock front fly. I will show you some others, pictures of some others that are new patterns. I know there's a, some Nomi patterns that have, um, that are cargo pants, different styles of cargo pants. One of the things that I've made before is this pattern, Simplicity 8701. 
And this is one that I was thinking of making into a cargo pant. I really do like this. The problem that I had with this pattern, I've only made it once, was that there was a huge gap in the back waistband. So basically what I ended up doing, what I did is just take the waistband uh, loose, add elastic in from one the back side seam to the other side. So it's all across the back and stitch it back up. And that actually works perfectly. So I know that the next time I make this pattern, just to include the elastic, because that's really just the easiest way of getting it to fit, but they're very comfortable. I think they're probably more comfortable with that elastic in there than without. This is a regular front fly. It's not a mock fly, but I also love to have pockets and these didn't have a lot of pockets. So that is one thing that I will do is to add more pockets and slim down the legs a little bit, but I was thinking of using this pattern and the pattern for these pockets here to um, attach on this pa pair of pants there. So that is a project that I plan to start on fairly soon. Hopefully I can get those details all worked out and get to that. As far as what I've been doing, this is actually what I'm wearing here. This sweater is actually my latest uh, completed project. This was just some fabric that I had. Um, I purchased from the Angela Wolf fabric stash sale. Uh, if you are a member of the Fashion Sewing Club, you can participate in the fabric stash sale. And as a pattern designer, she gets really, really nice fabrics. This is the pattern that I used. It's McCall 6803. I've made this numerous times. I don't even put the buttons in the front anymore because I know I'm never going to button the sweater. Currently, I'm working on Simplicity 1538. That's this one here. So I'm just in the beginning stages of that. I've got all the pieces cut out, but this is the fabric that I'm working with. And it's actually a kind of a thick um, flannel. So it's actually very nice. This is one of these pieces. Like I said, I got this years ago from fabric.com. Sadly, you know, they're no more, but, um, basically that's what I've been up to lately. So, um, if you have any questions or comments about anything in the video, please, uh, leave it down below and go ahead. If you don't mind, give the video a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you will not miss a, an upload the next time I upload a new video. But like I say, that is it. Take care. I appreciate you. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.